Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. That's a big statement right there. Submit yourselves unto your own husband as to the Lord. Now, we had Adam and Eve. We had the transgression in, in, in the garden. And because of the transgression that happened in the garden, did God make the man the head over the woman? Alright? And that's the way it is. Whether you like it or you don't like it. But now, He didn't say be subject unto a fool. That's right. Okay? Yeah. See, a lot of ministers like to stand up here and keep the little women in line, you know, and say, well, you're supposed to be submitted unto me. You sit in church and you be quiet, keep your mouth shut, and you do what I say. The problem is, the stipulation in that, without going somewhere else in the Bible right now, is the fact that if the man's not doing what he's supposed to be doing, right. you don't listen to a fool. Come on. Boy, that makes me mad when I say that too. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. They have to do their part. They have to be feeling their obligation in this Word in order for that woman to be subject under Him. 